clinic together for everybody um, just on some things that I like to do when I travel abroad and I hope it helps. Again or are from Canada you'll be very familiar with what we call the hockey bag here. This bag is just a massive piece of hauling equipment. One thing I like to travel with is my waffle iron. You really it's they're tough to find on the road you know any hotel room you stay in yeah they have an iron for your shirt but they never have a waffle iron. It's a little heavy, but fits really nicely in the hockey bag. You can't eat a shirt, but you can eat a waffle. So. And again, just to be on the safe side, when you're bringing the waffle iron, I'd also recommend bringing your own maple syrup, especially if you're traveling down to the States where they might not know what maple syrup is. So how many times do you travel somewhere and you get to your location and you go, God, all I want to do right now is go for a blade. So that's why the roller blades are an essential part of my traveling kit. You could wear wrist guards, knee pads, all that. Um, I'm quite good, so I don't need that level of protection, but um, I like to bring a Rubik's Cube. You know, foam down, Rubik's Cube, fidgety Rubik's Cube, puzzle Rubik's Cube. I do like traveling with this body pillow. I can hold on to my body pillow like this, and it kind of gives people that warning that between having a backpack on and this thing, A lot of traveling involves sitting in very dank, hot, sticky, gross environments. That's why baby powder is a good solution to your pollution.